Good morning, everybody. Well, I woke up this morning and the sun was out. So I thought, I'm going to go for my walk because all this house cleaning, really, I haven't been walking as much as I should. So I'm trying to be more disciplined again. So I thought, I'll go for my walk, which I did. And then, because the sun is out, I'll be able to do, you know, tidy up the garden and ready for Saturday. So the minute I started going for my walk, it started raining. And now it's raining again, so I can't do the garden. It's a lovely walk then. So, I'm upstairs. And now remember, the open house is this Saturday. So, I've, you know, been frantic. So, I, I have done all of upstairs now. And so, like, the bedrooms are done. So, all I have to do now, Friday afternoon, evening, is just go around everything quickly, make sure no more dust has settled. Hide the fan. Obviously, I hide all the stuff off the corner there in my hairdryer and stuff. And then it will be ready. It's just hiding the last things. And thankfully, thankfully, I did clean the kitchen and the living room when I rejigged it around and the conservatory um, not last weekend, the weekend before. So that is just a case of just going around it once more. Anyway, I'm going around all these light fittings, making sure there's no finger marks on them. Gosh, I feel like I've got OCD doing this, you know. I'm like, I'm not dirty. I don't think I'm a dirty person. But if you look, <laughs> everyone can find things. You know, and you try, I'm trying to look at it from a biased point of view, you know. You don't want to be touching light switches that have got mucky marks on them. Ugh. So I've become very fanatical about it now. I think another thing I need, probably need to do is clean the oven out, just to make sure. And so what I've got to do now is get these stairs dust free. What is it with dust? Why does it have to accumulate everywhere? You know, thankfully the house, you know, I have been cleaning since I put it on the market, so it's not bad, but you just want it to be absolutely perfect for Saturday. Okay. Because it's raining, I can't get in the garden yet. I think I'll clean the windows. All right, let's start with this. I'm going to start with this window, and I still can't flip and reach from down here. Like, give it a scrub. Oh. oh, sometimes being short, it's a pain in the neck. And then I have this nifty gadget. It's a bit noisy, so I do apologise. But it just hoovers the windows. bits I've missed. Ugh. Ugh. I mean it is faster with this thing but it's still and actually it is very good. I brought this really cheap from 
I forgot what the shop's called. Is it B and H or B and M? Something like that. Anyway, um, now, that's a pretty good job, but there's, oh, because it's quite big. There's always a little bit it misses. So I'll just dry that bit with a towel. Bloody smears. Right. Now you're probably wondering why I have my masher on the windowsill. Well, when I'm down here, I can open the window, but I can't reach it to shut it. So I use my masher to close it, or at least get the handle close enough that I can shut it. One of the tricks our short people have to learn. All right, I'll go and do the outside. Now. And while I'm here, let's give the front door a clean. I did this not long ago. But I can't hurt, can it? One advantage of having long nails is you can get them into the nook and crannies. Ruin your nails. The other way to do it, of course, is to like, use a, a blunt knife just to get in the corners. See what I mean? I'm getting to be OCD over this. So now I've got all these windows to do. So I have them all across the front room, both sides, and all across the conservatory. So this might take me a little while. Let's get on with it. Oh, well, it's a little difficult. The battery ran out on the uh, window cleaner thing, so but the sun came out. So let's start with uh, de-weeding and sweeping up the front garden. So I did put a load of weed killer down, <coughs> but let's pull them up. It's all these silly little ones. some of these cupboards down as well, I'll be right. This stone, it's hard to hear. It's 
They're a little bit superstitious, but it's to ward off bad energy. And this house needs good energy. And then on the inside of the door, I have a pink stone that welcomes good energy. So the sun has come out, it's still out. <coughs> we've done the front garden, so we're just going to go around the back. We're going to pull out all the dead leaves and give things a bit of a trim. Hoe around the big areas and then um, give it a sweep. Okay. So let's start with pulling out. Like you see here, they've got some yellow leaves. Not very attractive. Oh, so I realised, I kept mentioning I changed the front room round. So, I don't know if you can remember, right, so when you walked in the front door, let me turn you around, there was like a big, the first thing you could see there was the big TV, and I don't think that's very um, inviting. So, I moved the TV as far into the corner as I could, and I just put like the armchair there, uh, my stereo, but I remember I got rid of all my sonnet stuff. Um, I sew for this side, so I think, I don't know, let me know if you agree, I think it makes it look a little bit more open and bigger, but, uh, gosh yes, I know I've got to tidy up my desk. But uh, anyway, let me know what you think, because I, you know, you want people to see it as big and not have a great big TV on display as you come in. So. Right, we've tidied up the garden now, and we've done half the windows. So I think what I'll do now is I'll go and have some lunch. And then, um, hopefully, the window hoover has recharged and I can finish my windows. And then if I have time after that, I, I need to do my roots. One of those veins of us women's lives, is roots. But I think we've had a productive day. Um, you know, thank goodness the sun came out for a bit. Now, let me quick, quick update on the on uh, the open house and the agent. Just before I go, um, you know, I've been thinking about this. I don't think there's been one time that the agent has ever called me to give me an update on anything. It's always me. I'm always ringing and emailing them to say, "Oh, what's going on? What have you done? What's this?" You know. You would think if you've had some pride in your work, you would want to call up your client and tell them what you've been doing so that they're happy with what's going on. You know, when you're not willing to call them, I just think you're not doing anything. Anyway, I called them on Monday to ask them, you know, how's the open house going? What's the interest? Um, and uh, I just got, oh yeah, we've got lots of interest. Yeah, how many people are booked in? Well, people will wait until after the election, so we're chasing them all up this week. Hmm. So to me, that means zero. So I'm gonna chase them up again tomorrow to see how many are booked in. I mean, it'd be really disappointing if it's still zero. Um, I mean, I don't 
uh, like begrudge coming to clean the house because it's always good to have like a timeline. I mean, it makes it, it makes you get it done, but it's making me very OCD. I'm like going around doing everything again and again and again. But um, you know, once it's done, it's done. Um, anyway, let's see what happens this weekend, and I'll you know I'll sure to keep you updated. Um, and I think if they can't get anyone in, then I really, really now have to think, uh, I need to bin them off and um, rethink. Now, it's only five weeks to Australia, so I really need to start concentrating on that. Um, and I need to pay the balance on the the man that I've hired. Let me sort that out. Anyway, I'm exhausted, so I'm going to go and have some lunch now. Hopefully then I can finish my windows off and then do some personal grooming. Thanks for watching. Wish me luck for Saturday. Take care. Bye.